Okay, in the book, so I have mentioned the assembly of a parrot, right? Only Helen, the word parrot, the image of a bus has a back that has big brain feathers and two wings, two legs will be in your mind, right? This is the themes. Then the sounds, the real bars, is called Atapanyati. So I also list out many Sadapanyati and Atapanyati. So the first we start with theme concept, right? Samuhapanyati or the collective concepts such as house, car, cart, and so on. That means house means combining many different material, brick, cement, iron, zinc, wood. We combine many things together. We also make form of house. Then this is called panyati. This is also called house. So Santana panyati is the only shape or appearance or form. For the, for example, mountain. It's only made of soil and rock. Maybe there will be tree. Tree can be another concept. If we say mountain, it can be a pine of signs and rock and something like that. This is called mountain. On the shape, about the shape, we name it mountain. So now this is our right? Another one, three. Direction of concept. So we have four directions, eight directions, or ten directions. They are also called panyati. According to our living place, we have different directions. From my place, you are different directions. From your sitting place, I will be in different directions. It depends on our living place or standing place. It will be different. And color penalty, time concept. So now morning in Singapore, but evening in the US. Right. So chari penalty, lineage, such as men, women, and so on. So in the dragon as I mentioned, it's also called Sata Panyati. Sata Panyati means all the living beings are also called Sata Panyati. So next one, Nimita Panyati. When we meditate, we can see the Nimita. In the very beginning of Kasina, we also have to see Kasina objects. Or as a concept. That's what we call, we also call sign concept. So now Agasa Panyati. Space concept is very clear. We cannot touch, right? If we say space, we cannot touch, but we can sense. So we can be touched by the wind, but we cannot touch space. So Upadapanyati, the present concepts that represent the atomic reality. So when something arises, we can know, oh, that is it. For example, when anger arises, we can know this is the anger. When greed arises, we this is the greed, right? We just name. If it was too much, there's most called greed. Then if we are too exciting or too much emotional and too much anger or hatred, we can say this is anger. When it arises, we can know it. Just name. Okay, now comparative Upanita Panyati, the last one. If we say Upanita Panyati, we must compare with two different things. For example, long and short. Tall and short also. So compared to this small tree, letter will be shorter. Compared to this cup, letter will be taller. And in comparison, we can know tall or short, long or short. Similarly, thick and thin, and so on. If we don't have any comparison, we cannot know it. This is also called panyati. So we study image grammar. Then every adjective, we have a three, right? For example, good, better, best. So you clever, cleverer, cleverest. <laughs> Clean, cleaner, cleaners, and so on. So we have comparison. All these are concepts. So all these are theme concepts. Now we also have the name concepts. Here I will use Bali, which are mana panati, which are mana means it really exists according to atomic reality such as feeling, when we feel good and bad, happy and unhappy, pleasant and unpleasant, this really exists. But we cannot show it easily. But sometimes when we are too excited, people can see us. So this really exists. This is called Vijamana Panyali. We just name. Oh, this is pleasant, this is unpleasant. 
Also, also we see here four elements. Huh? Four elements mean okay, only two things: thoughts, softness, among the other elements. So when we can, when we touch, we can feel softness. For example, softness of the leaves. We cannot remove softness from the leaf. We have to combine together. We want to feed something, we have to we must have something to feed. So this really softness really exists. We cannot remove softness. This is also called ultimate truth. So now I will jump on a banyati. So it does not exist. I have already explained Venerable Nagasena. Right? It's just name. We ourselves also we have we have, we have just name. If we analyze in detail, we cannot find anybody. Head hair, if we analyze head hair also, there can be many, many others. Forehead, skins also, we have many different skins, different layers of skins. So all these are just names. Right? These are called Avijamana Panyati. So these two are for single nouns or single pronouns when we speak in our daily life. But sometimes we also have modifier. According to modifier, there are also many other different types of concepts. Three, vijamanina or vijamana. It's also modified by ultimate reality. For example, chalabhinya rahat. Chalabhinya means six second power. It really exists. But arahat is the body of a person. So we can also say he is like a special. He has some special attainment. This he, but this person is called Alhat, the name of his attainment. So that means Chandra Bhinna also really exists, but Alhat, the person is not really exists. If we analyze very much in detail, it will disappear. This is called Vijayamana or Vijayamana Panjati. So in other words, it. Avijamana, Avijamanina, Avijamana, Banyati. This is actually modified by concepts. This is a woman's voice. Because it's his voice, her voice. Actually, his or her does not exist. The voice really exists. Then, Avijamanina, Avijamana. This both of them are ultimate reality. For example, Jaku Vinyana, unconsciousness. So I is okay, I consistency, the loss of consciousness, two different things. Similarly, Nama Rupa. Nama is mentalities, Rupa is materialities. So they modify. The ultimate reality modifies another ultimate modalities. This is called Vijamana, Vijamana Panyati. Then finally, Avijamana, Vijamana. These both of them are concepts. And truth. For example, her husband, his wife, his son, his daughter, and so on. Both of them are, if we analyze in detail, both of them will just be here. So these are concepts. In many of discourses, the word I will use concept. When we are trying to understand a discourse, we have to analyze first. This is the concept of atomic reality. But sometimes, if we mix up two things together, for example, we may say Nitya Dukkha Nata. In the sense of atomic truth, we can talk about Nitya Dukkha Nata. But when we are going to talk about concept, don't talk about Nitya Dukkha Nata. Is it wrong? Okay, now an example. There was a wrong view at the time of the Buddha. Now also there will be some similar wrong view in modern society. The wrong view is, if we kill another living being, it's not killing. The living being is also earth element. The life is also earth element. An earth element goes into earth element. It's not killing. Then I have met some foreign bhikkhus. They also ask me many complicated questions. Andy, 
why do we have to follow many different rules and regulations? The one also said, if it's impermanent, if it's impermanent, why do we have to follow many rules? Rules are impermanent, we should change now. <laughs> so that means, when we are going to talk about morality, we must not use alternate reality. It's a concept. Similarly, when we are going to talk about Samatha subject, many of them are concepts. So, when we are going to practice Vipassana, we must know Paramatha, the ultimate realities. So, what is it really called Paramatha? Here yeah, I have already mentioned. One, our Prita, it has unchangeable nature. Oh, whenever it arises, in any living beings. So for example, when anger arise, arises in human being, there is also heat in the body. Similarly, when anger arises in the animal, they also have the same things, the same behavior, the same phenomena. They will arise in many different living beings. But it has the same nature. It's unchangeable. That's why it's called Paramatha. Then, Uddhama. Higher Dharma. So when we talk about concepts, there will be a different level. I always say tall, taller, tallest. For example, a different level. But ultimate reality is the highest. We cannot compare. Maybe in English grammar we may say angry, more angry, the most angry maybe. <laughs> but in Vedama, anger is anger. We cannot level. Maybe according to many other supporting causes, it can be stronger and weaker. Anyway, the main thing is, it's only higher dharma, not ordinary, not ordinary dharma. So we also have, like, uh, part of Christian knowledge, a very high dharma already. So uh, number four, I explain a little bit more about it. Okay, three, sabhava. It is just individual characteristics or natural characteristics. So that means every single atomic realities, they have their own nature, their own characteristics, and also their own function, manifestation, and prosmi causes. So number four, Barmasa Nyanasa culture. It is the object of higher knowledge. So sometimes, although we are angry, we don't know, we cannot recognize. But when we have Higher knowledge, we can recognize why, how it arises. So only higher knowledge can sense, or recognize, or understand the ultimate realities. Especially like the path in fruition knowledge, or jhanas. With ordinary mind, we can just imagine. But when we can really practically practice, we can really understand it. So, in brief, we have already no conventional truths and ultimate truths. So they are many. now in this class, we will talk about ultimate truths most of the time. So here we have some short guys, short notes. Only four types of ultimate reality also mentioned in the in the notes. Tita, consciousness, Jirsika, mental fetters, rupa, maturities. Nibbana, you have already know this Nibbana, the highest goal. These four are called atomic realities. So when they name them as Namarupa, then all these four can be Namarupa. When we name them as aggregate, Kanda, it becomes Kanda. When we name them as Novel Truth, it becomes Novel Truth. So the same things we name in different ways, according to Vidama. So first we have to learn, second we have to practice, now we understand better. This is the, the Buddha's way. So in the books it also mentioned Tita's eh? consciousness. The Buddha also explains about Tita's in many sutras, the following verses are from the Dhammapada. So you can also read Dhammapada. In the very beginning, the first, is called, the first stanza mentioned, all mental phenomena have mind as they are foreigner. They have minds as they are chief. They are mind made. If one speaks or acts, acts with an evil mind, Dukas follows 
and just as the wheel follows the footprint of and the arms that draws the cart. So now, when we talk about the mind, in according to the suttas, even according to Dhammapada, we have one special chapter for it, Chitta Vaka, mind chapters. You can read whole entire chapters. All this just stands out where we talk about, explains how the minds are working. So, okay, now we have grammatical definitions about Chitta. There are three grammatical definitions of ultimate realities as agent, we call it body cutting. For example, Aramana, Tindititi, Chitta, Vijanati, Atro. Knowing the object is consciousness. That means the mind can know the object. The mind has the ability to know the object. That's what is called consciousness. So second one, as instrument. Karana in Pali. For example, Tin Deity Edinati Tita. By that mind or consciousness, living beings know the object. In this sense, the mind is the only instrument that can know the object. So we make the mind as an instrument to know the object. So the mind can know, just mere knowing, but it cannot analyze very much in detail like a wisdom. Okay, here also some other things, according to Vidama. Tita according to Vidama. Okay. So, <clears throat> according to Vidama, Tita divides into three classes. The one is the Akusala Tita, unwholesome consciousness. Akusala Tita, wholesome consciousness. Abhyakata Tita, neither wholesome nor unwholesome. That comprises of resulting consciousness and fun functional consciousnesses. Okay, now, this is also important parts. There are also four definitions of ultimate reality. They are the characteristics, the function, manifestation, and the cause. So in every ultimate reality, whether it's in Nama or Rupas or anything, every Nibbana, they have the characteristics, the function, the manifestation. So now you can also Read the Lakana. Right? Lakana means natural Sabala characteristics and general Samana characteristics according to Nibbana. So, okay, now, for example, the mind. The mind means knowing. Similarly, Passa, contact. I'm contact, my contact. Without contact, we cannot see anything. So if our eye go, uh, so without intention we cannot see anything. Intention, they have their own nature, their own function, their own personal cause, everything. So here they have their own nature, their own characteristics. So you always have to talk about some kind of right? General characteristics, characteristics. That means we have anicca dukkha So when we have anicca dukkha nata, impermanent suffering non-self, when we are going to talk about Nija Dukandata, it must be ultimate truth. When we are talk, talk, talking about Sila or Samadhi or many other things, don't talk about Nija Dukandata. Okay, so now Rasa, the duty or performance is called Kicha, Kicha Rasa. Other the fruits are also called Kala, the cause behind the ultimate realities. So, that means sometimes by knowing atomic reality, there can be some fruit, some result, some effect. It's called rasa. We also have here the achievement. By knowing some atomic truth or cause of this atomic truth, we can have some achievement. It's also called rasa. For example, if we have wisdom, right? our wisdom will show us the right way. This is the effect. This is also called result. Okay, now, Vajjubhatana, manifestation. So this is the way it's present or is understood, and being the domain of knowledge or being the object of knowledge is called Vajjubhatana Kara. So that means when we meditate, for example, when we're going to talk about Chitta, 
they will appear in our mind as objects. So that we, our knowledge can know, our vision can understand what's really called theta, right? Consciousness. So when it appear in our mind, it's empathy pattern. Okay, now you're practically part of the characteristics, function, manifestation, resonant cause of theta. Practically here. It will be easier. The characteristics and knowing the objects, which are not, or taking everything as an object, theta just connives the object. It does not know penetratively. This is just characteristics. You know, fun the function is leading all other associated media factors to know the object or a leading factors of knowing the object. So as we have known, the mind is a leader. Man will lead us anytime. So that we have already learned Dhammapada the first time, right? Mind is a foreigner. So that means when we speak also, the mind will walk. Man will force us to speak something. If we keep silent, the mind will force us to keep silent. This is the nature of mind. This is also the function of mind. So manifestation is processes without interruptions. So that means when we see something, a see of minds will arise and perish. We have one explanation. In this class, we cannot talk about it. We have more than one famous names. Many millions of mind can arise and perish as a sea. So, when one of the mind arises, it will follow many other minds to know one object without any interruptions. This is called manifestation. So here I mentioned that the theta arises as a process, what we call mental process. So here, mental process means when we see something, we call andromeda process. When we hear something, we call eadromeda process. When we smell something, nosedromeda process. When we taste something, tandromeda process. If we touch or feel something, we can say polydromeda process. If we just think, or to visualize something, or it will be mindromeda process. So, they will arise as a seed, as a process. That's what we call witty and pali. So that means, okay, now the last one. Right? Prosmic cause. The Nama Rupa will be the prosmic cause of theta. So, mentalities and materialities. Mind alone, mind alone cannot arise. There must be mentalities or other mentalities or materialities. They will rise together. So, in the immaterial realms, only Nama can be the prosmic cause. Okay, so now we will start. Try unwholesome consciousness. It will be a little faster for us, right? So, we have eight greed-rooted consciousness, two hatred-rooted consciousness, and two delusion-rooted consciousness. Altogether, together, two unwholesome consciousness. So now, when we are greedy, how many feelings do we have? Sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are just normal. We have two different types of feeling. So when you go to the market, if you see the one you like or the one you like too much, they are very sure. Very happy, right? Pleasant feeling. So if you just feel normal, you don't feel happy or anything, just normal things, for the daily, in the daily you have to go to the market for some necessary thing for your house. Not, it's not the one you like too much, it will be just normal feeling. So in brief, there will be two different types of feeling. It will make two different categories of love, greed. So second one is association. Associ associating with wrong view or just associating with wrong view. Sometimes, although we make many mistakes, we don't think it's a mistake. It's just normal. We think it's a wrong view. See, mistake is a mistake. So, sometimes we know it's a mistake, so this will be a little wiser. Sometimes we knowingly do it. We unknowingly do it, right? You can do different things. Anyway, so wrong view here. 
because I'm a king animal. It's just vegetable, no problem. This is a sure, 100% wrong view. Then, oh, this is not really very good thing to do, but anyway, you have to do. Then it can be dissociated with wrong view. Sometimes happy, sometimes happy. So it divides into four, right? Wrong view, so they were happy and unhappy. No wrong view, so they were happy and unhappy, or together four. So another one is a prontage or unprontage. So sometimes we ourselves feel natural, but other people talk about the value of some beneficial things. For example, the cup. In my mind, it will be natural, but some say, oh, candy is very nice, very beautiful, right? very valuable. Then shall grew our rice. Printed by other people, we have attachment. If no reprinted, we are normal. Similarly, unlawful the same. We ourselves say, okay, but somebody say, why you are so patient? Then we start getting angry. <laughs> right? Similarly, like that. So, anyway, printed and unprinted. If printed, then we, our mind said, okay, not really that much problem. Unprinted, our mind is too active to be greedy, huh? too flexible to, to be greedy. Okay, the main thing is the feeling, the association, the printed or unprinted or divide, create, rooted consciousness into eight classes. So now, in the slideshow, we mentioned the first four. In the books of it, we mentioned all the eight lines. The first four, for example. So, buying pleasure associated with wrong view or unprinted. The same things accompanied by pleasure associated with wrong view, printed. Then another consciousness accompanied by pleasure dissociated with wrong view, unprinted. Also, dissociated with wrong view, printed. So the first four, associated with pleasure. Then we also have the second four, with equanimity. So in this group, we also can find associated the accompanies by equanimity, so they have the wrong view, unprinted, unprinted. The similar thing, accompanies by equanimity, dissociated with the wrong view, printed and unprinted, altogether four. Okay, so uplifted actually means volition and the energy that makes mind sh sharp and strong. Okay? So here I also mentioned the reasons of rises of pleasant feeling. Okay, now anyway, anyway, explain the what's natural, the more desirable, or the mind desirable, right? So natural desirable object. So anywhere in every classes. We have natural design of objects. For example, for bodies, for our statues will be designable. Dharma books will be designable. Sangha will be designable. Right? This is natural. I think you can you can also, you can also understand. So similarly there are many other natural design of objects, for example, clothes, food. If you have you know this is a good quality, you may like. This is natural designable. So that means if we say natural designable objects, it just we just think about only middle class, not very high class. Okay? So if middle all the middle class accept as good things, we can this natural designable object. Now the most designable object, for example. As we have to say the Buddha, sure, that's the most designable object. And similarly, the Dhamma, like a Meditation subjects or vipassanas or bhagavad fruition knowledge, these are the most desirable objects. So ordinary people cannot, can, cannot get that kind of things, right? Similarly, in a high class, they cannot find good money. They cannot find it, right? We have to train ourselves, the, the most desirable object. We can get it by our own efforts. So in other words, a mindly desirable object. It can be very complicated. Actually, my is a very complicated things. For example, according to different doors, we have different design of objects. Okay, now 
many different things, for example, durian, right? Durian. For tando, it's a very good line. For nozzle, very bad. <laughs> so that means it can be many different types of sizes. Sometimes designer for the eyes, not designer for the nose, not designer for the ear. Some go for the nose, not go for the eyes. Right? There are many, many flowers, very good smells. But if we see, not good looking. Right? Like this. For example, like also fish, also, right? Very smelly, right? Fish. But go for the time, not go for the notes. <laughs> <laughs> so here, my main designer objects can be according to the age, according to the place, according to the doors, according to many other things. So, for example, according to the age. Small kids were like a toy. Now, most of people were not like that kind of things. And they like other things. So, okay, it depends on many other cases, that's why it can be very complicated, okay? Okay, the main thing is, okay, one is a really natural designable object, or the most designable object, or mommy designable object. Pleasant feeling of rights, when seeing or when hearing something. Then, to rebuild the living consciousness associated with pleasant feeling. So that one is in our life, in the very beginning of the life, is unknown. Right? So the three is also having a shallow nature. Mostly those who smile easily or laugh very easily have shallow nature, according to Vidama. So another one, the reason arising of equanimous feeling. The object is normal designable, it's just normal, not that much high quality. Then another one is regarding consciousness is also associated with equanimous feeling. So we have already said the one. Having profound nature. If we think too much, we cannot feel happy. Right? So now, okay, now the additional factors for the rising of equanimity is being a town person, muka, daduka. So that means there are some people, they have low IQ, they may not know good and bad, they cannot know happy or happy. For them, everything will be normal. Right? They will not have happiness, more equanimous feeling. So we also have mentioned the reason of rising of wrong view. Associated with one who holds a wrong view and two, inclining asaya or holding on the wrong view, like innovation or eternal view. So here again, so if we say association with, it, it doesn't mean you must not, you must not work together. Sometimes we can avoid talking with them or something like this, but don't listen to them too much. Sometimes we have to associate bodily, bodily, but not mentally. This kind of association will be okay. But you have to associate with everything. Right? We have to, have to listen to them too much, also we have to talk to them too much, or sometimes we have to work together. Mentally we agree the wrong view, wrong perceptions, then it can be the cause of rising or wrong view. So now okay, we also have one more according to the suttas here. Listening to other people, having our attention. This too can be the cause of wrong view. So that means sometimes all is a wrong information if we have to listen every day. The untruth information becomes truth. Well, it's having our wise intention. It's our ability. Mostly people, people like easy lifestyle. If we follow one religion, there are many rules and regulations to follow, right? This is a wrong view, this is a right view, this is the good thing, this is the bad things. If we have wrong view, we don't need to follow any religion. <laughs> right? Any rule and regulation. So free times. If we wish to be free too much, we become prisoner of our own thoughts. <laughs> You know, the reasons of rising or unprinted consciousness. One, rebelling in consciousness is unprinted, having a healthy body and having healthy and sharp mind, belief in the benefit of efforts, having heavy joy actions, having severe weather, all these are the reasons of the rising of unprinted consciousness. So here are three, right? Having a healthy and sharp mind. 
sometimes our minds are not very healthy. That means we follow our watch too much, or we reject, we reject our people's welfare too much, for example. That means we, are not, we have not have healthy mind. So if we have a healthy mind and sharp mind, we will not follow, and then we will do well. Okay? Then the other unbranded mind will arise. Another one is a belief in the benefit of effort. So we also have belief in benefit of efforts. If we do well, we can get better. So here, here unbranded and unbranded can be wholesome and wholesome both. It can be. So habitual actions. Similarly, good and bad. Suddenly, it becomes habitual actions, it becomes unprinted naturally. For example, if we are going to meditate every day, for example, when it becomes habit, if you don't, if you don't, have, if you don't have a chance to meditate one day, you feel something uneasy in your mind, unpleasant in your mind. It's natural. Habit, if you can have it. So in the case of lava, also the same. If you have the nature of grease every day, it becomes natural, habitual, unfronted. So a short temper, hateful temperament. Hmm? Then this nature already, even very minor things, you will get angry, unfronted naturally. Okay? Then, okay, there are many created consciousness according to the Kamabata, the way of actions we all talk about. Then, Kala, the time, present, and future. Place, it is the place also, they have greed, right? In the monastery, I hope you can practically experience this. <laughs> right? That's why this sadhana continuity, if you have long time wholesome mind, very little wholesome mind. So, Aramana, the object, and so on. There are many other ways of analyzing creative consciousness. Okay, now one. Huh? We have to talk about daily life, greed in daily life. One, A, B, C, D, and just this out. Huh? It, it doesn't, doesn't mean right? one word after another. So we just analyze on ourselves. So when happily and eagerly enjoying sensual pleasure is accompanied by pleasure. Happy, right? The B, believing in the assessment of seeing, hearing, etc. You can like a superstitions, huh? believing in superstitions. superstitions. They're not feeling any kitty about the mistakes or holding wrong view and also associated with wrong view. That means, okay, sometimes although we make mistakes, we don't feel guilty. That means we have very strong wrong view. Some, if I'm making some mistake, we must feel guilty. If something happens for other people, something happens for ourselves, we must feel guilty. There are many people, they are very strong. Huh? They don't feel guilty. <laughs> This is some mistake. Mistake means they have very strong pride or very strong wrong view. Okay, so now D, right? Nation, what do you think about? Unprinted, or print, or printed, sorry. Can always find or explain by other people, bodily or bodily, how to pleasure, essential enjoyment, yes, and also he enjoy it, it will be printed. Sometimes some other people have to teach. How to, how to go for picnicking, how to do fishing, many different things, right? And you can enjoy it, this is printed. So now in modern society, many books, they will explain how to enjoy the life. I've read many books like that, you know how to enjoy the life. Similarly, in the documentary also, you were mentioned, right? Even last night, I'm, I'm watching fishing. How people do fishing, right? To explain that one. <laughs> so how people do fishing, hunting, only okay, they are very happy. You know? When they can catch the fish, all they are shouting, yelling, <laughs> you know, enjoying. So that means we watching this kind of that kind of documentary or that kind of maybe short movie or movie clip, then he will follow that instruction. Enjoying it. All these are called printed. Okay, so there are many other things. Okay, print or unprinted, it can be wholesome or unwholesome. So sometimes we may read many bo books about meditation, we may follow it, sure, it also can be printed. Sometimes we are lazy by reading the books, we become active, also can be printed. Now we are sick, but by reading the books, we become active. Whether it's good or bad, 
they can be printed. So most of the time, we just have equanimous feeling. Either happy, not happy. But when something happens, we are happy. We are happy. So, in our daily life, the most, most of the time, only equanimous feeling arises. That's why not that much strong avasala karma in daily life. If we become very happy for the greed, if we become very powerful avasala karma. So, you okay, know, hatred rooted consciousness. There are two types of hatred rooted consciousness. As we say, hatred. If we hate somebody, we cannot feel happy. If we hate something also, we cannot feel happy. So, hatred will arise to develop with unpleasant feeling. They are the reasons of rising of hatred. So, any kinds of undesirable objects and nine grounds of hatred. So, that means we have already mentioned natural undesirable, right? Also, man made undesirable. Sometimes, if desire for everybody, it will dislike if you can undesirable naturally. So, for all nine grounds of hatred, you can read up on yourself. You can know it, right? <laughs> So, I will not explain. Okay, now here, one more thing. There is also one more cause of hatred. Atana Koba. Improper anger, such as when hot, cold, raining, windy, and so on. For example, sometimes the too cold, we get angry. We don't know who to complain. <laughs> too rainy, we get angry, or feel sorry, something like that. And it also called right? unreasonable. Atana Koba. Actually, I have, here we just talk about dosa, dosa me, dosa mula, hatred rooted. But in reality, dosa doesn't mean only hatred. It also covers many other phenomena, many other mental quality, mental, mental natures, the, mind of, the nature of the mind. For example, worry is also called dosa, anxiety, sorry, lamentation, sorrow, lamentation, grief. Also, despair, fear, all these are called dosa. Okay, now, this morning, I, I definitely only the last one, right? Only two division of the consciousness, right? It will be the last one. So, here, when we say delusion or illusion or ignorance, it cannot be pleasant. It cannot be happiness anymore. It's just natural feeling. And with economics, we're going to feel happiness, sure. See, so if we think too much of the we're going to feel happiness. So here we can say, <coughs> devotion and rooted consciousness were associated with equanimity, accompanied by equanimity all the time, no happiness. Only two things will make difference. That was the doubt and restlessness. These two make delusion different, different. If we have a lot of doubt, we have delusion. If we have, if we have restless minds, so we have delusion. So now, all these three are called agusala, right? Unwholesome. Now, I have to say again, the characteristics, the function, the manifestation, the cosmic cause of unwholesome. So now, the characteristics of agusala is blameable, sarvacha, and desirable results to Kavivaka. So here, blame even me, we have many different blame. Some of many different. The first one is, we call, complain ourselves. We blame ourselves. This is also called blame ever, right? We blame ourselves. We complain ourselves. Too painful. The second one is, complain by other people, or blame by other people. We live in the community, and then people see and hear what we are doing and um, saying, they will complain or they will blame, it becomes sawaja, blameable. Another one is punishment according to the law. So if we break the law, so it will blame you naturally, right? So these are called sawaja, blameable. To come back so after death, we can be living in the hell. Even in this very life, we can also feel, because it's been many, many other bad results, practically. All these are called akusala. So now the function is to bring this comfort or unprofitable. That means it will function you discomfort. Also, um, it also also unprofitable. Both. 
then the manifestation is impurity. You may feel that you are impure. So now the prosmic cause is unwise intention. You know already that one, right? Then we'll have another definition here. The characteristics is the false or blameable savaja. The same things, right? Then the function is the property of impurity. So it can be the property. The fat does for impurity. So manifestation is as undesirable result in the mode of effects. Anita Vibhaka. Anita means undesirable. So after making the actions or the, the causes, although we don't wish to get the effect or the result, we cannot reach it anymore. It will come naturally. So now this morning we can just finish Akusala right? <laughs> I plan to finish the whole chapter of Tita actually. <laughs> but anyway, so if we know good and bad, at least it's good enough for daily life. Right? So now, if we, although we cannot know all the 12 types of unwholesome consciousness, if we know what's the wholesome, wholesome is good enough. So opposite of a whole sense of whole sense, noun, savage, blameable, blame, we blame ourselves, blame other people, or according to the law, all these are agusala. That is an evil result. It can be in this very life, it can be in the future, this life. So all these are, if not very profitable, not beneficial, this is a So if we summarize, a whole sense can be unbeneficial. Dispenditures here in the very life or here after in the future life. How some dharmas can be blamable this very life in the future. So, how some dharma also is impure. We, we never feel we are pure. But sometimes we may have very, wrong, very strong wrong view or very strong pride. We will not feel guilty. Whether we feel guilty or not, we may know we are impure. So it makes people different. When we have good minds most of the time, we become good person. When we have bad minds most of the time, we become bad person. So now is that fact already? We should start here, right? Your questions are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we should share the knowledge, sir. Okay, it Idame punyam, asawa kaya, waham hodu, idame punyam, nibana sa, pateyo, hodu, mama punya bagam, sapa satana, bache mi, te sabe, me sama, punya bagam. Bagaimana bantu, sadu, sadu.